Hey, hey, Fash. It's the 15th of May, 2018. And I just, um, I was compelled here, uh, for several reasons, but this, uh, embassy opening up here. Jewish dream of Jerusalem as Israel's capital go back thousands of years. That's true. To David, right? Who was succeeded by Solomon, who built the temple, who passed away, and the whole kingdom split up. Everything eventually was destroyed. Okay? So, that dream has come from that point. But you got to understand, man, there has been a deceitful element playing this whole game all along. I mean, why would why do you think they have the, the Treasury Secretary come to this event? Okay? And, and incidentally, he's the 77th Treasury Secretary. And the Speaker actually mentioned that himself when they were giving their little speeches. The 77th Treasury Secretary had to be at this uh, embassy opening, right? Well, why? But, I mean, there's so many roads I could get down, but this is what I want to talk about. They want this to be understood, that it's here. This is the great seal of the United States. The seal. And, you know, I'm not going to go into the entirety of the whole thing behind the seal. It's very simple. The Founding Fathers created it. They were all involved. Benjamin Franklin, so on and so forth. To bring in a device for a seal for the United States. So, in essence, the United States has now put their seal on Jerusalem. Okay? When you look at this seal, the original seal, right here probably all aware of the 13s the 13 arrows stripes olive branch the leaves the olives the 13 stars the whole thing right 13 the number of colonies which that was not an accident just understand that there being 13 colonies at the time of the declaration was not an accident but I just want to quickly bring your attention to the stars. The 13 stars surrounded by the clouds of glory. Okay, that's what this all represents. It's very well described in this article here that I will uh, link to you. Okay, so it's the clouds of glory around this array of 13 stars. Look how the 13 stars are shaped. They, they are positioned in a way that's very familiar. Do you see what I mean? This is what it is. Now, you have to understand that there was never anything known as the Star of David ever until, what, 70 years now, essentially. This is a symbol, an ancient, ancient symbol. It goes back to the Fallen Ones. If you follow the chain of its symbolism, Okay, this represents the lost word, the hidden word, or the unknown name of God, the chambers of Enoch, or the vaults of Enoch, the, the royal arch. The, these are all connected all the way up to today, all the way back to especially Solomon. Okay, and there's a reason why this is in the United States seal that is now officially been placed in Jerusalem in a pretty interesting place so you know I'm just saying you've got to be aware of the deception that's going on here because it runs so deep and it runs so far back you know I'm not going to get into the founders you know Benjamin Franklin designed this 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 these are not men our our framers when they framed this government okay you have to you really need to understand you know they weren't serving the god of the bible i'm sorry they weren't they weren't righteous men you know we the people of the united states you know we are endowed by our creator well they don't specify what creator 
you got to take these things into consideration, folks. Look where we are at today, based on the history of the United States. And yes, we can get into the Rothschild aspect of it, because the Rothschilds started the banking system in the United States, They and they never left. The Red Shield, they changed their names, they were involved in everything going way back into the 1700s. You just have to understand this stuff. All my message is, is that there is a very deep and distorted level of deception surrounding everything we see in this world. And you need to remember that it's a spiritual war that we have to discern in order to understand what time it is. And it, and it brings you that peace when your spirit agrees and your in Christ, you know, you just understand that you are okay. You just do. There's no worries about anything because, you know, there's some craziness coming on the earth. But I just wanted to put that out there. This signals officially the United States, okay? I can't, you know, stress this enough either. Notice that the Star of David takes the 12 stars with the 13th star in the center. The 13 represents rebellion. The United States is going to be the strong arm, the tip of the spear of that rebellion. When this all starts breaking out, that's what it is. And it's a... God has his hand over everything. If you're just seeking Jesus and in the spirit, you're fine. There's no problems here. And one other thing I wanted to show you guys, you know, the 70 years yesterday, okay, it, I don't know why, but I went back and I went to the 70 year in 1948 and I brought it forward to the Six Day War. And you know how we were making that 69 run? Well, check this out. From the day of their independence, to the end of the Six Day War. 6,966 days. Okay? And that's as far as I've gone. I'm sure there's a lot more connections here, but you gotta admit, that's pretty crazy, man. Okay? So it's all planned. That's really what it really shows us. That this has been a plan. It's all God's plan, but you have Satan. You have this legion of wicked that rules over this flesh that is operating in the dark and always has. It's Jesus that opens our eyes and shines the light that allows us to see the world. Really, it's it, it sounds simple, I know. Well, because it is, but you have to love the truth. You have to understand that you're in a wicked world, that you cannot, no man, no man can defeat this darkness. They, there's no men that are going to create peace and security on this world. Only God, only Jesus. And you don't see any of these people crying out to him, do you? They're putting out that portrayal. They certainly portray themselves as godly, praying trump is anointed all these things that are for all i know they are true trump is under the hand of god and so is netanyahu what i'm telling you is they may not even know it and they're going along with the plan of these ancient ones that go back forever i mean look at the regalia you just take their regalia take the upside down triangle Move it over the right side up one. There's your Star of David. That's your lost word of the Mason. This is the neck uh, regalia. The right side up triangle, the upside down. They put it in your face everywhere because that's the world. You got to turn it upside down in order to see. You got to realize that you're living in a total lie. You've been just taught a lie in school. You've been taught about pretty much everything. So if you want the truth and you love the truth, then you got to go to Jesus because he is the truth and he's the only way to the truth. That's all. So there you go. Peace and grace to you. Many fish.
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 